Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is me Alex, we're back again at Collection Neo, here for another review. Now if you're like me and you grew up in the 80s, you might be familiar with these. Now this is a muscle figure, that's M-U-S-C-L-E, muscle. Um, I had hundreds of these as a kid, and I'm sure if, any, if anyone grew up in the 80s, like I say, they're quite familiar with them, they're little rubber wrestling figures. But there were literally hundreds of them, and some of them are weird and wacky designs um, from guys who were just shaped like a big stone, to guys with lizard heads, to this guy here. So, yes, as a kid I was like kind of obsessed with these, and they used to sell them in packs and in big boxes and even in tubs. I used to buy, buy a tub of 50 of the, of the things. But um, what... As usual, later in life, you do find out that this is actually a Japanese thing. As most things are, it um, turns out that we watched as kids. Um, it came all the way from Japan, and then this is based on a series called Kinekiman. Now, Kinekiman um, started in the late 70s as an Ultraman parody, which you can probably tell by that crest on um, Suguru's head there. Um, and then kind of evolved into a wrestling shonen-style show. Um, it's a very, very strange show. I'd, I'd recommend anyone to watch it because it is really weird. It's re <laughs> it's um, of its time. There's a lot of really weird Japanese jokes in it that you don't really understand. <laughs> um, whether it's revolving around Japanese culture or the 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 sound of the sound of words and how they sound similar, or even like just Japanese baseball players. It's um, really strange. But then as the series does go on, it changes into um, a more structured show with um, mainly based around the Olympics and wrestling and um, brings in a whole load of other fun characters. Um, definitely worth a watch. Now, if you don't know these figures, what you might know is the Ultimate Muscle anime which ran in the late 2000s. It was a cartoon, big hit on Cartoon Network around the same time as Dragon Ball and all those when anime started coming over to the West. Um, um, Ultimate Muscle is basically a follow-up. Um, instead of having Suguru, it's got Suguru's son, Mantado, and they bring back a load of characters that are from the first series and sons and daughters and etc. and family members. So that's basically Kinikuman. Um, and Kaneku Man, by the way, does stand for Muscle Man. Kaneku is basically muscle. So they were right in calling them muscle. But what happens then um, when Prime 1 gets hold of the license and takes what was originally this and then turns it into a quarter scale premium master line statue? Well, we get something like this. <laughs> so there you go guys, this is Prime 1 Studio, it's Kaneku Man from their premium master line, this is a 1-4 scale piece, completely sculpted, and it's fucking amazing, let's skip all of the review to just say it, it's an amazing piece. Um, now this is limited to 250, this is exclusive, um, originally it was limited to 500, um, I don't think sales were super great, so they dropped it to 250 But to be fair, the Prime 1 have done that of a lot of PCs, um, even more popular PCs. Um, and this one was $500. Now, for $500, this one is a bit of a bargain, in my opinion. It's um, packed full of switch outs, which we'll get to in a second, and um, even more with the exclusive. Um, he's a big boy, stands around 30 inches tall, as you'll see when I put him on display. We will get some film of him on display with Guyver and Ultraman, just so you can see. And you can see, you know, that Guyver is a $1,000 statue and this is $500. And this is just as impressive. Now, to be fair, this is even more niche, I'd say, than Guyver. But hey, you know, I think um, a lot of people might just see this and think, oh my god, that's such a cool thing. So let's start at the base. And then um, we'll go over the statue itself and then go over the swap outs. Is that looking crooked? It's a little crooked, guys. Let's um, let me just do that. So the base is a wrestling ring, of course. On the front here, we've got the uh, the Chojin Olympics belt. Now Chojin is basically superheroes. They all identify as superheroes at the beginning. 
And we've got England, because the former champion was Robin Mask. Um, more on him in a bit, but he was from England. And then we've got Japan, because Suguru, or Kanekuman himself, is from Japan. Although not really, he is technically an alien from Kanekuman planet. Yep, it gets that weird. Um, that is just basically a plastic piece. It's nicely chromed. It just goes on the front. It looks fantastic. It's a great front to the base. As you can see, we've got all the ring. All nicely painted, all nicely shaded. If my dolly would let me go around. <laughs> and then all this goes together. Really, this is um, te um, testament to Pramon's work. All this goes together so well. So basically, we've got the big base here. And then these poles all slot in separately. And then these rope bits are actually just on magnets and they're all colour coded. So we've got a bit of yellow paint in here. And we just, boom, brilliant. And they all attach like that. As usual, Prime One quality is amazing. Paints are fantastic. We're going to get a bit of close in on Suguru himself now. Now, what Prime One have kind of gone for is a really realistic body and then anime styled head, as you'll see. So I'm just going to tighten this up a bit and we'll go a bit freehand. Um, as you can see, we've got the boots. Not a lot of texture on the boots, they've kept them quite simple, a lot of nice shading. Now all the body of Suguru is actually translucent resin. I don't know how well the camera will pick that up. Actually, let me just... Just going to bring him in a little bit. Just so I can get a little bit closer on him before we see if we can see those textures on the camera. And the translucent resin, if you've never seen it before, it gives like an, a weird like shine and skin texture and realistic skin look. Is it slightly overlit? We'll have to bear with it. Um, as you can see the pants, lots of texture there. You see the hand, vein textures, but the belt itself actually <laughs> quite simple. Then the actual sculpt, the body, really, really well done. I'll spin around so we can see the back muscles. You know, they have not gone lightly on all the textures, right up to the hand. You know, the body is one of the, is a great, for a guy who's just standing in his pants, <laughs> It's a great, great sculpt, the body. But then what I really love is that the body's so realistic and it's got all this amazing texture work on it and it really does, because of the translucent resin, it really does look like skin. But then his head is just whack. They have literally not done it in, in translucent resin, they've just done it in polystone. It's, <laughs> it's a stark contrast to the rest of his body. Which is just great. <laughs> and if you are wondering, yes, there's a mask. There is a face under there. Um, but when they're um, born on the Kaneku planet, um, they are instantly masked as a baby. <laughs> like I say, guys, go and check out the um, the intro to the anime, if nothing else. It'll give you a good idea of what the show's like. What I'm going to do now is run over all these extras that we get. We'll do some close-ups on the heads. So let's grab that first head off. So this is the standard head. I love that they've got these little folds here, just so it does look like it's a mask that's been pulled around the head. Super clean. Anime look. Perfectly done. So that's your first head you get. This is all included with the regular, by the way. Second head, charity face. Same again, but with the mouth open. Super clean apps, as you need with an anime statue. So the, this, I'll just go over all the regular stuff first, and then we'll move. And then I'll show you the two exclusive pieces at the end. You also get three, no, four switch out hands. So the finger up, as we've just seen, number one. And then you also get the 
peace sign. And then you also get the fist. Remember, this is all included with the regular. And then you also get... Now, in the show, like I say, Sugru, as serious as he looks here, he's a real, really fucking goofy character. He's really goofy. Like, Goku times 100 goofy. It's ridiculous. It's a really ridiculous show. And he's kind of in love with Gyudon, which is... A Japanese dish, which is beef over rice. So you also get a bowl of donbori, as they call it. I think it's supposed to be gyudon. And it looks really good. <laughs> There's like a shine to it. Um, I don't know how well it'll come up on camera, but it looks like real pieces of onion <laughs> and meat. It's really, really well done. And of course we've got the chopsticks on the side. So that's all included with the regular. Also included with the regular, if I just bring it back slightly. Because why have one statue when you can have two? You also get Alexandria Meat. It's got his own little base. Now Alexandria Meat is the guy who comes from Planet Kaniku to find the prince. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention Suguru is a prince. Um, and hangs around basically as his mentor, tutor, supporter. All that sort of stuff. Now... Meat's really heavy. This is a solid lump of polystone. But again, <laughs> really well painted, really well done. He comes with his own little base. It's on a peg. And it's actually on a magnet as well. You can hear that clip. Um, just a plain little base for him to stand off at the side. But if you want to, there's actually a magnet here. Here. Oh, I forgot to say, actually, the peg that this guy is on is like a big cylinder. So you can actually... Move Kinnicky Man slightly if you want, if you want him on a slight angle. Um, it, the peg is like my finger, it's like a huge, big, fat metal cylinder. Real good quality, as usual, from a um, prime one. But like I say, there is actually a magnet here, as you can see. So, what, the, what you can do is take meat, place him there. The magnet's just strong enough to hold him. I mean, I wouldn't try and move it with meat on there. Because you know he's not super stable, but it's enough to hold him. So we can actually have meat there on the front. Um, I'll just stick a couple of hands in. Stick a head on. And then I'm going to come right out as far as I can in my little ickle space. And you have a rather... Huge, fantastic statue. Now, all for $500, which is a ridiculous price for a piece this size. And how much you're getting? You're essentially getting a second 1 4 scale Alexandria meat included for free, pretty much, with his own base or with that base. But if you do buy the exclusive, you also get these pieces. So, this is a switch out head, which is the silver mask. So, at the end of the um, Kanika Man, um, when he fights Akuma Shogun, there's two masks from previous Kaniku Man champions. Kaniku champions, I should say. One silver, one gold. Suguru dons the silver mask. Akuma Shogun dons the gold mask. So you get this as a switch out head. And then you also get the mask with a hand that it can sit onto. So you can literally have him holding the hand over his, um, holding the head even over his head, I'll slide that in, and then again we'll just really, really, so many options, I mean it's only head and hands, but with Alexandria on there, the whole look of the statue is just fantastic, there's not a paint stroke out of place, there's so many options with it, and for $500 that's just crazy i never thought we'd get statues of this quality from this series you know so prime one just taking all my money i mean after gaiva and you know um them doing gamma and loads of other licenses which i've been you know Gurren lagan and evangelion and just smashing it out of the park and then to do kaniku man as well is just brilliant um next up in the line is this guy 
It's Robin Mask. Um, Robin only comes with three switch out heads for the exclusive, two for the normal, three for the exclusive. Um, he was priced at $530, so $30 more than Sugaru and comes with a whole lot less. But I think at that point they were like, well, we're not going to make as many, or, you know, um, prices have changed, obviously. Um, Robin didn't go up that long after Sugaru, I think about six months. But, you know, prices are rising and rising. But, guys, it's a no brainer. If you are a Kaneku Man fan, this is. The ultimate statue. There's nothing. There's nothing close. There's some really nice, smaller, like eight-inch statues. Um, but if you want a big old Kanekuman statue, this is it. Uh, I think that's about everything. It come, like I say, it does come with a lot of stuff. Um, you also get your assembly sheet. So you've got all the bits there, as you can see, all the heads, hands, the belt, all the ring broken down. Few picks there, and then on the back tells you how to put the ring together. Head one, head two, head EX, all the different hands, the Dombori, EX hand, meat can go on the base, or he can go on his own base. All the bits there. It's lovely that they include all this stuff. Prime one, doing shit right. Right, I'm going to pause, I'm going to throw Sugru next to the Giver, where I've currently got him on display, and then I'll be back any second, guys. And we're back! As you can see, we've got him over here with all the anime stuff. There's the Giver, and there is Kanekuman. As you can see, a fair size for half the price. Now, obviously, with the Giver, you're getting a, a full half of Rama Teeth on the base, and plenty of swap outs. You know, the regular version of Giver's, basically how I have them displayed here. That's 750 bucks. It's only the bus that put the price up by in 250, putting it up to 1,000. So, if you compare 750, still $250 less. And, you know, all those switch outs, Alexandria Meat. It's just a fantastic piece. It's a fantastic prize. Um, as you can see, it's a huge boy. It's actually with the exclusive bit on. It's actually topped out higher than the guy. It's about 31, maybe about 32 with that silver mask on. And Ultraman down the end. Ultraman was 700, I think. So he was still $200 cheaper, but obviously. You haven't got quite as intricate paint details. Paints do make the difference, guys, on costs. And obviously, with Ultraman, you've got all these panels to paint, whereas Suguru, it's literally a body and some pants and those simple anime stylings. <laughs> but even, you know, if he was 750, there's so much more. Alexandria Meter, you know, if they sold that on its own, it'd be 150 bucks. Easy, it's got to be. You know, if you look at something like Puck, the one to one scale puck they did for Berserk. Um, I can't, I don't know what the price was, but it's a similar size. Obviously, not as um, detailed because it is a little Kaneku guy in a romper suit, but there we go. But yeah, super duper happy with him, guys. Like I said, I've got Robin on order. I really hope they do rest more in the line. Um, Roman Man, Buffalo Man, Kuma Shogun would be great. Um, and even some of the new guys, Kevin Mask, Mantero. Checkmate. Checkmate would be brilliant. Um, but hopefully Prime 1 think we'll go back to the license at some point. I think it has actually sold out this guy at 250. Or well, they've only got a few left. So check Sideshow um, Sideshow Shite. And um, Prime 1 might have someone on their site as well. Um, new. This isn't my actually my last statue of the year, guys. I've actually got a bus coming from Dam Toys, the T-Rex bust. So that might make it for the last statue of this year. Um, it's been a pretty decent year. I'll go over a few more bits in that review of what exactly I've had this year and what's stayed and what's gone. So there you go, guys. Coming up to 20 minutes, I'm going to finish it there. Um, that's Prime One Studios, Premium Masterline, Kaneko Man, exclusive. If you're a Kaneko Man fan, guys, it's, and you're a statue collector, it's a real no-brainer. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and um, we'll see you next review. Bye.